go. Hi, everybody. I can't believe that uh, this Shabbos, I won't be seeing all of you. Um, it's uh, heartbreaking. But on the other hand, I know that we're all connected, even if we don't see each other. I know that you sit in my heart and that I sit in yours. And it's funny, like how many Shabbos I would walk to shul and believe it or not, I get anxiety before I have to speak. And I do thinking to myself, like, oh my gosh, how am I going to give this class? How am I going to do this? And then I just stop and I'd say, Hashem, you're the one who opens my lips. And you're the one who makes me speak. I'm going to let it go and let God. But it was almost every week that way. And then sometimes I would like say, oh, do I really have to do this? And now you see all I would say to Hashem right now is, please, could you let me do this? Um, it was a very interesting time, and I've been trying to think about how I feel about it, and I came to this feeling, and I think this all happened because we had a lot of chutzpah, you know? Chutzpah, we had a lot of, like, arrogance, and we kind of thought we were so smart, and no matter what Hashem was doing, we were always second-guessing Him and complaining, even when we had a lot of good. And I think you kind of feel like Hashem got fed up. And he said, you know what, just like a parent, you know, like the parents are saying, oh, you need to do this. And the kids are rolling their eyes like, yeah, sure. And what do you mean? And we know better. And, you know, you're so old and you're so antiquated. You don't even know what's going on anymore. Like we have it. We're under control, ma. You don't have to tell me what to do. And I have a feeling that we were doing that. And finally, Hashem sort of said, you know what? Enough. Your chutzpah is beyond I'm the one who created the world. I'm really, I sent you a manual to living that really makes so much sense. And that gives you the best life you can have physically, spiritually, emotionally, morally, like you name it. And I got it for you. And I did it because I love you and I want to be connected to you and want you to be the best that you can be. And you kind of rolled your eyes at me and you thought you were so much smarter than I am. So now you have to go to your room. You know, like when you've had it as a parent and you really feel like the kid has got to stop and he's got to think. So you send him to your room. And then what happens? So some kids sit in the room and they go, okay, all right, let me just figure out how I can just go, sorry, and everything will go back to the way it was. And that's all their consideration is. And they come up and they go, okay, ma, sorry. And the mother goes, you know what? I don't know if you're really sorry. I need you to go back to your room and actually make a plan. I need to see this in real action, in on paper. I need to really hear this from you, really sincerely. This time, it's not a joke. You went a little too far. And I think if we were all really honest with ourselves and we looked at this world, I'm gonna be real with you. I don't want it to go back to the way it was. I don't. Yes, I want us to all have Parnassa. Yes, I want us to all have health and family and all the good times. But I don't want to go back to this crazy world that didn't know where it was going anymore. To all the Lush and Hara and to the Machlokas and to just all the negativity and the murder and the robbery and the craziness and the hatred. And I don't want to go back there. And I really don't want to go back to a world that doesn't have a place where it finds its answers. The Torah tells you every morning, say, Reishis Chachma, Yiras Hashem. Before you believe in your own wisdom and you think you're so smart, remember that there is a God above us who's awesome, who created the world, created the manual, and knows what we really need. This isn't going to be enough to just sit in our room and try to figure out how we can get out of this and sort of like trick our mom and go, yeah, sure, 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 go, sure, ma, ma, I'm sorry. And then sneak your cell phone back and get in your car and party one more time. It's not what it's about at all, right? So we have a real big blessing that it's so interesting. Everybody, you know, always running around on the Shabbos and thinking about all the other stuff they can do, but be at the table with their family or being keep or be or keeping Shabbos. And now you see Hashem said, guess what world? You're all going to keep Shabbos. You're all going to shut everything down. You have nowhere to go. So let's be really smart. 
because this week, in this week's Parsha, what do we learn? That Shabbos is even more important than the Mishkan. Shabbos is the fundamental sign that the Jewish people believe that there is a God and that we're connected to him and that we love him and he wants to spend time with us. That's why he says, shut it all down. So this Shabbos, everybody, I don't know what level of Shabbat commitment you had. And even all of us who were so religious and kept Shabbos so well, we all know we could keep it so much better. We all know that we could have been a lot closer with our families, that we didn't have to talk all the stuff about you know, the Lush and Hara kind of thing that we kept saying, like, it's okay as long as I don't say their name. They just live next door, uh, right across the street, and the garage is yellow, but we're not saying their name. So all that kind of stuff. Like, Shem is really telling us, like, wake up. I want to see the real action. I want to really see that you're sorry, that you really understood, no, the best place I could be was right here with you, Hashem, trying to make your world a better place the way you tell me to make the world a better place, not the way I feel is convenient or the way I want to make the world a better place. So may God bless us that we spend a very beautiful and holy Shabbat with our families. May God bless us that we quickly learn the lessons of this. And may God bring the Mashiach, because if anything throughout history has shown us the signs that this is the time of Mashiach, it really looks like it now. Because we need now to come together as an entire world to recognize that there is one God, there's one God who loved all of humanity, who wanted us all to have a relationship with him, every one of us. So everybody, Shabbat Shalom, and know that I am missing you, but you're in my heart.